Good morning to one and all. Uh, myself as Sushantika from Department of Economics, Central University of Tamil Nadu, is here to present uh, on my topic, the recent trends and development in life soft sector or disruptive analysis. I'd like to share my screen. <coughs> So in the last, in more than last 50 years, the human population and livestock population have increased tremendously. Human population have increased more than twice while the livestock population have increased in different rates. The increase in population have actually led to uh, increase in demand of food, which have put pressure uh, on, um, on production uh, of food. The agriculture is subject to climate, which is not giving uh, income on regular basis all over the year. So livestock act as a uh, support or an insurance which provides them income all over the year. Uh, approximately 20.5 million population in India are in, agri in, are in a livestock sector. Uh, which provides an income all over the year. Uh, the livestock sector acts as a backbone for agriculture as uh, it provides the soil quality, even the improvement in the crop uh, production. As a na natural manure from livestock sector uh, gives nutrition to the uh, crop as well as uh, maintains the quality of crop, uh, soil. The livestock production and consumption have both negative and positive impact. Uh, the positive impact of livestock is it uh, maintains a balance between crop and animal by mixed farming, which is usually practiced in India. Uh, the crop residual is used as natural manure. Uh, the crop residual uh, is used as uh, feed for animal, whereas the animal uh, waste is used as natural manure for crop, which actually maintain the soil health. Uh, at the same time, the crop residual, which is used as a feed for animal, uh, gives more nutrition to animal, uh, and uh, from um, that, the animal products have more better quality. Whereas it also acts as a safety net for rural poor, uh, rural household in poverty, and also it eradicates poverty in rural uh, India. As at the time of distress and uh, failure of crop. The uh, livestock, the income from livestock act as a, a way of survival and source of income in uh, rural India. Uh, the major um, labor force participation in livestock are actually women. Almost uh, three fourth of uh, labors are contributed uh, from women uh, labor force participation. In 2012-13, uh, the share of agriculture and allied so, uh, sector to total GDP was 15 percentage, of which the percentage of uh, livestock was almost 27.25 uh, percentage in India. Uh, the income from export has increased tremendously in livestock sector uh, and contributing more to foreign reserve in India. While the negative of uh, production of livestock sector is the, it creates imbalance between the grazing land and uh, cultivation land. Mm, that means uh, uh, production of livestock is more than the production of crop food, which is directly consumed. Um, and uh, there is a huge drawback from uh, green revolution, which happened in 1969 in India. Uh, uh, one, in livestock sector uh, was that it the cattle was actually replaced uh, by tractor and uh, the um, natural manure was replaced by chemical fertilizer for production of a uh, feed so actually the uh, technological innovation have affected hugely in livestock sector this has led to a decrease in the uh, cattle population over the year shift of livestock, even the shift of livestock breed from domestic Indian species uh, to more yielding imported breeds is our indigenous breeds uh, have caused um, a big demerit in livestock sector as the uh, 
imported breeds consume more of the water more of the uh, feed and the uh, production of for, for the production of this feed the chemical fertilizer have used which have led to uh, fall in the soil quality uh, at the same time these breeds uh, consume more water as compared to our Indian breeds and uh, their adaptability to uh, climate change and uh, diseases is also a big question. Uh, and it uh, the, life, the production of livestock uh, stock sector also leads to environmental degradation as uh, the waste um, released from the livestock sector causes water pollution and land degradation because of the feed produced uh, in land uh, and also it uh, emits a lot of uh, co2 when cultivating feed as well as crop for um, feeding livestock even the livestock uh, emit greenhouse gas emission from enteric fermentation almost 18 percentage of uh, uh, greenhouse gas in is emitted from livestock sector Whereas the consumption of livestock to have positive uh, in, uh, effect also, as uh, it increased the consumption of uh, livestock products in both rural and urban India, as well as in the international market. Uh, and there is a more awareness, it shows more awareness of nutrition value and boost which uh, like uh, protein and other uh, nutrition and it leads to immunity booster. Mm, and uh, there is an increase in demand which have uh, in international market which have uh, led to export increase in the export but and a share of uh, and a big share of uh, international market in livestock has belongs to india mm, and the uh, livestock sector uh, they is growing mainly on the basis of uh, huge demand so this demand have actually created um, source of employment mainly to women and it have uh, and there is a possibility of gender equality as women are going more employment in livestock sector and uh, consumption of uh, livestock has medicinal values and the, some of the products are, is used in uh, medicines also whereas the consumption of livestock also have some negative points as it is demand driven uh, demand driven because huge demand have created pressure on um, production so it's more of uh, livestock revolution is more of demand driven rather than supply driven which is uh, our green revolution uh, this consumption of uh, livestock actually leads to life expectancy and higher incidence of diabetes and even increased cancer risk and non-communicable diseases like heart and other cardiovascular diseases uh, and there is the consumption is excessive of livestock uh, products milk meat uh, and other products uh, then it is recommended by doctors uh, the uh, shift of uh, diet from indian to western have led to more of the diseases and uh, uh, problems which were not in india before uh, the meat market, uh, due to increase in the consumption of livestock, the meat markets have also increased, which uh, causes communicable diseases, which we have uh, faced in the recent year, uh, which was COVID, uh, which actually started from a meat market in China. Uh, livestock consumption also uh, is a big uh, problem for food security, which is one of our goal of SDG as uh, the production of crop for direct use by human has uh, fallen, whereas the production for uh, animal feed is increased. So the land uh, denoted to the feed production are more than the land denoted to the human crop pr uh, consumption. So the material and methods used in the study uh, is a secondary data from various reports and publication from government of India. Uh, while the uh, livestock population the is 
from Lecture Sciences, Department of uh, Animal Husbandry, Dairying uh, and Fisheries, Ministry of Agriculture, where the uh, gross value added and value of output from livestock sector uh, uh, in between 2011 and 19 was collected from national uh, account statistics by Central Statistical Organization, Government of India. The data has been analyzed using simple descriptive statistics like uh, percentage and changes and um, showed in tabular form. So the major results which we found in from the study was um, cattle population increased uh, and uh, in, is increasing, but at a lower rate and gradually started falling. Uh, it, Falling and again it started increasing in 2009, but at a lower rate uh, because of one of the reason I told you that because of green revolution, the tractors have actually replaced the cattle. Um, <clears throat> an increase in the demand for milk and milk products have actually increased the uh, population of uh, adult female uh, cattle, adult uh, female buffalo and buffaloes uh, because uh, since cattle. Uh, it uh, doesn't act as a milk producing uh, animal. These are the other three uh, milk producing animals which is, uh, which have population have increased tremendously. Uh, there is a significant rise in the population of uh, goat, which shows that there is a, a more demand for goat in national and domestic market. Mm, the population increased in the threefold uh, in, of goat. And uh, whereas the pig population, which was subject to uh, religious and uh, traditional uh, of India, has also shown an e expansion mm, uh, in the consumption. So the highest population uh, of uh, the highest population rise was uh, in poetry, at least uh, the because of the price is lesser as compared to other livestock. Does the population does the consumption of uh, poultry also increase? The population of horse, pony, camel, and donkey has decreased. Um, nine in 2017-18, India was the highest milk producer uh, in uh, egg in milk. Highest milk producer in uh, egg it was third, and in wool it was eighth, uh, ninth place in the whole world. The growth in the livestock population is not steady, but rather uh, involves fluctuation trends. Uh, as uh, the species wise, all the uh, increase in the population have is different. Recently, there has been slowdown in growth of uh, cattle population. Whereas uh, the buffalo and sheep and goat uh, the population have increased tremendously. This shows the demand for these uh, products and these livestock have increased. Other livestock uh, like horse, pony and other have shown a negative growth in 2012 and 19. <coughs> Overall, the livestock population increased by 4.6 percentage in 2012 and 19, while the poetry population increased by 18.16.8 percentage. Although the amount of gra uh, gross value added from uh, agriculture and allied uh, is much more than the livestock sector and is increasing at a higher rate, but its percentage share to total uh, value added is decreasing. Uh, in, whereas in livestock case, the gross value added uh, it, at current price is also increasing as well as its share to total GAV is also increasing. This shows the how much agriculture sector has a potential to support agriculture at the time of distress and uh, non-income generation generating seasons. The value of uh, milk group uh, at current price has almost doubled in 2011 or 2019. While the value of meat group have increased more than twice the amount, um, under meat, uh, the highest valued uh, is poultry meat, and the second most is mutton, followed by beef. Um, 
The byproduct includes a high skin and other, and the value of this output increased over the eight years. The value of increment in stock has increased by four times it was in 2011. The total pop value of output at current price from livestock sector has increased tremendously from 4,87,751 crore in uh, 2011 to it was in uh, 11,57,66. 636 crore in 2018-19. So the policy suggestions are, uh, is the, the question first arises is, is it uh, the positive and the negative? Is it for human need, is it uh, good to put our environment in a situation of more of greenhouse gas emission and uh, degradation of environment and soil quality for a human need. So the government should take uh, some of the main policies, steps. So it includes uh, the government should implement a suitable pos uh, policy for sustainable growth in livestock sector. And there is a need to for research and development in livestock sector as it does not end with sustainability, but also the conserving of natural resources and restoring the uh, environmental losses which an occurred during livestock and production and consumption. There should be more promotion of vegan diets. Uh, that means no use of uh, livestock in in the diet as well as in the daily life. And there is a need for awareness of effect of consumption and production on health uh, and the effect on environment. And there is one more possibility if uh, government levies tax uh, on livestock products and it will lead to increase in the price of this and which will lead to decrease of demand for uh, consumption and limit the uh, consumption of livestock uh, daily life which will decrease the production and the quality of production will also increase. So I finish my presentation. Thank you.